What scares you the most? Uh, spiders. Definitely spiders. I'm afraid of heights. Sharks. Dying alone. Why is no one afraid of monsters anymore? when there's one living in a local town here in Indiana. This was the first article we stumbled upon. It claims that for the past hundred years there have been a large number of people missing and that the current residents swear a seven foot tall beast has been spotted at night by the town's cemeteries, fields, and woods. This is a story posted by a woman who took a trip to Elizabeth with friends to search for the monster. She never found a seven foot tall beast who has eaten the locals. Instead, she found a human severed head laying on a tree stump on the side of the road. We searched online for Eliza Bill's location. After we found it, we realized it's just northwest of Indianapolis. And after a 35 minute drive, we arrived at our destination. How would you describe Eliza Bill? It's just a very rural community. Uh, it used to have a general store. Uh, it's got still has two active churches. Uh, the store has been closed for many years. Um, uh, it's just one of those communities on what used to be a major highway, but with the advent of interstate highways, it's no longer that. Ken Campbell, C-A-M-P-B-E-L-L, -L, and I'm the Boone County, Indiana Sheriff. I'm the elected sheriff. I'm serving my second term as sheriff. The sheriff is a constitutional office in the state of Indiana. Uh, however, I've worked at the sheriff's office in one capacity or another since 1979, uh, so I've been here 33 years, give or take, uh, as well as uh, I've lived in Boone County all my life. How much time would you say that you spend in Elizaville specifically? Specifically in Elizaville, mm -hmm. not a great deal of time, but Elizaville is one of our primary patrol areas, and again, in my 30 plus years, uh, I've been up there uh, ranging from calls for service to crashes to domestic disputes to just standard patrol. Have you heard of any sort of wild stories, um, not necessarily in Elizaville, but in your county? There was supposed to be a house up on about uh, 1,000 north, about 200 east, that was haunted. However, this was the only house without a beware of the dog or no trespassing sign. While we were exploring the backyard of this vacant house with a mud-filled pool, broken glass, and a submerged sofa, we heard a car approaching. So we started walking towards the front of the house to talk to whoever was driving up. Instead of stopping to talk with us, the driver held down his horn as he floored it down the road. So I am unaware uh, of any, any haunted houses, haunted places, uh, poltergeists, uh, unexplained events, and certainly Bigfoot. We went to examine the local cemetery, however, we actually found it to be the most peaceful part of town, quiet and full of nature. And as the time came, it was a beautiful view of the sunset. As the sun was setting, our heads turned towards the woods as we made the decision to go in at night to find the legend ourselves. As we returned to the woods at night, we noticed two paths in the grass which led into the woods. We found that they belonged to a tractor which had crashed into a tree. And at 12.45, we started making our way to the center of the woods. We're officially entering the woods. Well, that was scary. What? I don't know, I just heard something off to the left, like the second we entered. Yeah, but I knew. Watch out, spider web. I'm really kind of freaked out. <laughs> I know. Didn't they say they were in the woods when they found that, like, severed head? No, that was on the road, but still, I severed head could have moved. <laughs> Here's an opening. We should set up here. Do yeah. You know how to get out of here? Okay. Well, wait. Is it a? It looks like a trap. Uh, I don't like that at all. <laughs> now you put food there. You close. You, they go to put their head in it. And just. All right. We post it out here because. It's actually very open and this trap looks super scary. There's bugs all over it. And we're surrounded by poison ivy, so that's always a plus. We're gonna try the, uh, the scream theory that we heard on the, or we saw on the article. We didn't want to scream ourselves. 
because it's creepy. And so we pre-recorded one of the bloodiest girly screams we found on Soundtrack Pro. And we're gonna play it off our phones. We're gonna play it and wait 10 minutes and see if we die. So it's seven minutes into our first scream test and we just noticed that there's sirens going around everywhere, like police and ambulance. I don't know if you're hearing it, but it's kind of weird because we're in the middle of the woods and the only road is like a country road. So I hope they're not looking for us or anything that's coming after us. Or hopefully we didn't cause someone else to be killed or eaten. Whoops. We just noticed that the battery on my camera light is extremely low, all the way down to the lowest setting it can possibly go to, which hopefully means that it'll stay on for the next 30 minutes so we can see if anything comes for the screen, but if not, I'm honestly just about to leave. All right, it's been 10 minutes, and the first screen test, well, somewhat of a, I don't know. A police, blast. Yeah, there's police sirens, but they're kind of died down. We're going to try it again, but we're also, we're going to be mobile during this one. We're not just going to sit here and wait. All right, Audrey, hit it. All right, let's go. I thought I just saw eyes. Did you hear that? Yeah. Alright, I'm out. Let's go. Yeah. We're getting out of here. Actually, come on. Yeah, no, I'm done. Oh my god. The freaking light's dying. Oh crap. Oh my god. Crap, crap, crap. Shoot. Michael, do you know how to get out of here? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Alright, we're back on. We found a light, well, some batteries, but we're still getting out of here. Yeah. We just gotta find a way to cross the creek up here. Okay, come on, come on. Oh. Okay, lights? Hold on. Okay, let's go. Get a little closer out, yeah. There. Alright, let's go in the car. All right, so we made it back to the car, and it's 1.29. We're alive! And we're alive. So in conclusion about the Eliasville monster, we can neither prove or disprove the monster itself, but there's definitely something in those woods that scared the heck out of us on the way out. If you still are daring, feel free to go to Eliasville, Indiana, and scope out the monster yourself. But I seriously advise you do so with extreme caution. I'm Michael Wooden. And I'm Audrey Pence. And we are officially leaving Elizaville for the last time.